This is the November 2022 course of fire analysis for the NRL 22 match. Stick around and we will go over all the stages and how I plan to shoot them. Hey shooters, my name is Joe Lowley from Precision Match Timer and I am going to go through this month's stages and figure out how I am going to shoot them. Hopefully my analysis can help you figure out the best way for you to shoot it. Not everyone shoots things the same way, but hopefully my thought process can help you figure things out for you. Quick recap of last month's match. It was a good match for me. I only dropped one shot, uh, the smallest target on the ladder stage. Uh, otherwise, I was clean on everything else. I was happy to finally get my 100 points instead of the 99s I got the last couple of months. Uh, this month I will be driving up to Palmetto Gun Club in Charleston, South Carolina uh, since our local match is not having a November match. So I'm going to go up there and shoot uh, with a friend of mine. So the November course of fire just got posted. Let's dive into those stage sheets. Stage one, tower defense. So for the third month in a row, we are shooting from the concrete blocks. They are arranged a little differently on the ground this time. Um, it is two of them stood up on end and one between them that is flat. Uh, so you have left up, upright, middle, flat, right, upright. Uh, so it's a little different. Uh, the targets are uh, one and a half inches at 50, two and a half inches at 90, four inches at 100. Those are 0 0.8, 0 0.8, 1.1 mils. So pretty good size. The, uh, the two far targets at 90 and 100 are 15 feet apart, left to right. So that makes it a little more interesting. And uh, we're going to be shooting one shot at each target from each position. And that last position gets an extra shot at the far target to make it a total of 10 shots. So let's go out there and uh, figure out what we're going to do on this stage. All right, so we are back at the concrete blocks. Um, going to shoot them the same way I have last couple months. Tall one, just be on my knees. Lower one would be more of a prone, and then again back on the knees. Except now I can use some rear bags. So I'm going to use uh, the big ass bag and possibly the schmedium on top of it, and then definitely the, the schmedium as a rear bag on the, um, on the lower position. And uh, I'm going to dial this stage. I think there's plenty of time to do it, but um, we will see, especially because it's, it's uh, near to far and then far to near, so it's a little less dialing. You know, to, to, to change it back to near for every position. So it's a little bit faster because you got, uh, you know, a double uh, shot on the same uh, scope data. So uh, let's go ahead and shoot this. Shooter ready, engage.
Six, not a problem. Five, Plenty of time to four, dial. Three, Even change uh, parallax if need be. Um, there's definitely time. I uh, <laughs> I almost forgot what I was doing on the first position. Uh, I wasted a little bit of time uh, remembering that that second target is off to the left because I didn't see three targets out there. And uh, but I got it now, and uh, I don't think that's a big deal at all. Um, so good. Stage two, two to one by four. This is a tank trap and we're gonna use each tip of the tank trap and then there's gonna be a rope suspended between the two legs and we have to shoot off that rope. So the targets are at 75 yards. There is a one inch and a two inch target. Uh, those are 0.4 and 0.7 mil targets. Uh, but just one distance. So the two shots at the large and one shot at the small. Uh, I assume it is hit or miss to move on. So here's a restriction. Quote, rifles must only be supported by the rope and not be directly supported by the tank trap leg. A front bag may be used between the rifle and the rope, but not between the rope and the ground. I originally read this as no rear support as it says, quote, rifle must only be supported by the rope. But as my friend Mike pointed out, the stressor part of the stage says no rear support may be used on the rope to make it harder. So we should be able to use rear support on the non-stressor, or at least that would make sense. This whole stage is really going to depend on how the match director ties the rope and the legs. How high off the ground is it? How tight is it? It's really going to have to play that one by ear. Um, so we can tie one, we can practice it, but we're gonna have to see the way that the match director does it. Uh, so this is kind of a hard one to prep for. It also seems a little gimmicky to me, but we will see. Uh, this could end up being the separator stage this month as there could be people having a lot of trouble with it. Um, so let's take a look and see what we can do out on the range. So this is the tank to trap stage. Um, we've shot from the tips plenty. It's not too bad. I love shooting with the uh, Area 419 medium bag and plate. It works great on these tips. And uh, I intentionally just went and bought some really cheap polypropylene rope, 10 foot of it, and I have poorly tied it onto the bottom of this. Um, it's not real tight, it's got some slack to it, it could maybe get tighter, but with when you're tying to an angle like this, a lot of times it'll ride up, so you'll get a lot of slack in it. Um, there may be a way to, to tie it really tight, but I'm not sure what it is. I am gonna use a rear bag. I'm afraid I may have to ditch the bag. I'm not sure the bag's gonna fit. So, we will uh, we'll shoot it. There's gonna be two shots at the smaller target, uh, one shot at the larger target, or two shots at the larger target, one shot at the smaller target, and then move all three tips and then the bottom. So I'm just going to drop this here when I need it, and uh, we should be able to go. Shoot it, ready? Engage.
20 seconds. Boy, that is really wobbly, just swaying back and forth. This was too big, obviously. Uh, so I would take another bag, another smaller bag. Um, wow, that is uh, that is not a very stable. And what worries me is it's very, all the weight on this pulls it down a lot. And, um, at some distances at our matches, we shoot pretty high targets. I mean it. I can barely get down on this one. That little target. You can get it, but there's a lot of wobble before you get there. And, uh, Whew, that may be a tough one. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> I may have to practice that a little bit. Try tying it, the ropes up a little bit differently too. Um, see if I can get it tighter. But my feeling is it won't be very tight when we get there. Uh, it could be higher if they were longer. Um, if, if they were, were longer tank traps, it could get up a lot higher and that could change things. Uh, might actually be better for me if they were higher um, because that was, I, I had trouble getting enough elevation out of it because it's almost sitting on the ground this way. And um, hmm, that's gonna be a tough one. Stage three, stay steady and focus. So this is a prone stage. There are targets at 30 yards, one inch, the entire KYL rack, all four targets, at 42 yards. And then at 100 yards, there is a three inch. So the KYL rack goes from 0.7 down to 0.2 mils. Uh, 30 yard is 0.9 mils and 100 yard is 0.8 mils. Uh, so obviously the KYL rack is where you need to concentrate. This is the order we have to shoot it in. So you go to the KYL rack and you shoot the largest target first. That's that one inch. Then you shoot the far target at a hundred. Come back to the KYL rack, shoot the next smallest one, three quarter. Then go to the near target at 30. Back to the KYL, the half inch. Out to the far target, which is the hundred. Back to the KYL for the quarter, then the near target at 30, and then the, uh, back to the KYL a quarter inch again, and then out to the 100. So you're gonna shoot it going from largest to smallest on the KYL rack, and in between you alternate. So KYL rack, out to 100. KYL rack, 30. KYL rack out to 130 and back and forth. And uh, so this is going to take a little bit of concentration to get it right. Uh, there's nothing too difficult about the stage uh, except for shooting quarter inch targets, which is always tough. So this is more of a mental stage. You have to get things in the right order. It is easy to mess up that order, but it is prone and it is a you know, two minute stage is normal. So I may even consider doing some kind of a checklist for this one in order to make sure that I shoot them in the right order because that is always gonna be a problem. So let's go out and see uh, how much time we have to shoot it and then uh, figure out if we can manage to get some kind of little checklist in there. All right, so this is the prone stage. Um, it's not terribly hard, like I said, it, quarter inch targets aren't ever easy, but um, it is prone 42 yards, you know, should be all right. 
The problem is the order and it's remembering it. So I am gonna see if I can shoot this fast enough and steady enough, really holding on those smaller targets and see if I can use a checklist so I don't forget anything. A little unconventional maybe, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it a try. See if I have enough time. It's, um, I've got minus one on both of my dopes for my, for my near and my KYL. So that's just a, a two hold on the back. So that's not too bad. And let's see if I can see it from here. Shooter ready, engage. All right, not too bad. I like being able to mark those off. I got plenty of time left. 20 seconds. Yep, 20 seconds left still. So I do like doing that. It keeps me on track. I did almost forget at one point. I almost went to 100 when I needed to go to 30. Um, so that helped keep me, keep me going. I could probably just do it as a data card and just look at it. But being able to actually check it off let me know exactly where I was supposed to be. And um, I kind of like that. I think it I think it works and I think there's plenty of time to do it. So um, I think that's my plan. Stage four, barrel and a horse. So we're gonna use the top of the 55 gallon barrel and the saw horse. Uh, we're gonna take one shot at each distance from the following positions. So the top of the barrel, the top of the sawhorse, the bottom of the sawhorse off that shelf, and then prone. So you got four positions. We have three targets. Uh, so we have a target at 55 yards, two inch, 65 yards, two and a half inch, 75 yards, three inch. So those are all about one mil targets or three and a half MOA. Um, I assume it is all hit or miss, move on. And um, you know, th this one has some movement to it and some different distances. So it probably will require holdovers. Uh, I don't think I would want to dial this stage. Uh, overall, you know, with the movement and, and different distances, I kind of like this stage. And um, I think it may be a tough one for some people, um, but I think it's a very doable stage and should be fun. Okay, so for, for this stage, we shoot from the barrel, top of the sawhorse, shelf, and prone. So that means we need the bipod on. Uh, and have to have the bipod legs up. I am just gonna go with a schmedium because uh, I want to be able to use it as a rear bag on prone and it should be just fine instead of using one of the plated bags. Uh, this one will probably be the hardest position. Um, 
And uh, I just got to watch knocking my shelf off because it is not attached like it will be at the match. So um, let's give it a go. I think I have, uh, so I have three targets, uh, three distances, and so I'll doing holdovers. I am just going to do, uh, treat it like zero, four, and eight, uh, instead of the 1.1, 1 .1, 0 0.4, And, um, it's easier to see in the reticle, 55 yards, no big deal. So let's do it. Shoot it ready. Engage. Super steady. All right, that's a good one. So the last stage, stage five, a ladder A-frame. So someone stayed up late at night trying to think of a, a way to do some kind of different barricade. And maybe they came up with one. So we're gonna have the rooftop on the left and it is going to be sloped um, down away to the left. Uh, so the, the height of the rooftop will be in the center. You know, next to that will be a stack of three tires. And then the ladder uh, will be laying down on those tires going down to the right. So it's gonna go up and back down. Uh, you're going to shoot from the lower quarter of the ladder. We'll have to figure out what that is. The upper quarter of the ladder prone under the ladder, then the top of the tires, and then the rooftop. Uh, the target is one distance at 80 yards and is three inches. Uh, so again, that's about one mil or three and a half MOA. Uh, we have some movement on this one. And throwing a prone in the middle uh, is always trickier as it always adds a little bit more time uh, to deploy bipod legs. Um, so this one should be fun to figure out. Uh, like I said, a lot of movement, but um, pretty big target. So we should be able to move fairly quickly. And, uh, but let's get out there to the range and figure out exactly what we're gonna do. Okay, so we know how this uh, ladder stage is supposed to be set up, but it's gotta be done in quarters. It's a six foot ladder. I actually measured it from the top to the bottom. It's actually six foot. So that means a foot and a half in each quarter, 18 inches. That means from here to here, or here to here. So that means the bottom rung, the top rung, prone tires on top of the, um, the rooftop. So uh, I think that's uh, easy enough, except that you gotta halfway through, pull the bipod down. Um, that's not always easy. This first one's gonna be probably so low I can go prone. And I am just gonna use the Schmedium uh, mostly same same time we had we had the um, same thing when we had the, the ladder 
diagonal like this before is uh, I didn't like the plate on it. It uh, got in the way. I'm hoping that the bipod does not get in the way. Um, I'd rather take it off, but I can't. So let's go ahead and shoot this. Shoot it ready. Engage. Plenty of time to get that done. Not plenty, but two minutes it can be done. And uh, you're moving now. The, the problem is the bipod in and out, and uh, and also the fact that I'm using the the uh, big ass bag behind. It uh, definitely slows you down, but I think it helped me a lot on here. I didn't need it quite as much on the ladder. Don't need it here. It's this bouncy tire is where I really needed it. So. All right, shooters, that's it for this month's Course of Fire. I appreciate everyone subscribing, uh, leaving comments, asking questions, not only about uh, the Course of Fire, but about uh, the Precision Match Timer app for the Apple Watch. And um, I, I've gotten a lot of questions about it recently, and I really appreciate everyone who has bought it so far. And uh, I just hope everyone gets as much use out of it as I do. I think it makes a big difference in uh, managing your time for a match. And uh, otherwise, you know, get out there and shoot a match. Bring someone with you. Bring a friend who's never shot before. This is the perfect match to bring a friend out and let them try something new. Because it really is an introductory kind of a match. And... There's no better way to get someone hooked than to actually let them shoot it. So until then, get out to the range and get shooting.